Hey, I'm Henry, here to introduce another fantastic submission from lean practitioners in the field. It's so important to share our challenges with each other. In the end, don't you think it makes everyone better? Watch this team's challenge and let us know what you think in the comments. Now, on to the video. In this video, we will explain how to score the week's progress and fill out the reasons column of the last planner project dashboard. Friday's huddle is somewhat different than the rest of the week. During this huddle, you will score the week's performance for completed tasks. Any tasks not completed as promised will have a root cause assigned with the reason written in the column next to it. It is important to the process that the team is both honest and thorough in the understanding of the root cause and reasoning so the team can accurately address problems in the future. It is essential to look beyond the surface. If the task wasn't completed because the trade partner didn't finish, take the time to understand why they didn't finish. As you see on the board, on Thursday, the drywall contractor did not have all the committed manpower, but he was still able to complete the tasks committed. This will be scored yes. The electrician also completed the tasks he committed to, which will be scored yes as well. However, the plumber did not pass his inspection of water area A due to the pressure loss during the test, and now they have rework. The line item will need to be scored as no. The root cause, as we have determined, is a failed inspection. Although this root cause does not fit into one of the seven root causes listed, it should be labeled eight for other. On the same line under reason, you should write a clear explanation of why the task was not completed. In this case, the inspection was failed and rework is required, so you would write failed inspection, make corrections, and reinspect. On line 22, the insulators committed to having four workers on site on both Thursday and Friday to insulate area A. However, their mobilization was delayed until Friday and they only had two of the four committed workers on site. With the reduction in committed manpower and duration reduced to one day, they will not be able to complete the task as promised. In this case, you should score line 22 with a no. The root cause is manpower. So in the box next to yes, no, you should write the number two for manpower. In the reasons section for line 22, you should write the reason the task is not completed. In this case, as discussed with the team, the insulator mobilized late and did not have adequate manpower to complete. In the reason box, you should write low manpower. Best practice tips. When determining the root cause, you must look beyond the surface reasoning and dig deeper on understanding what truly caused the issue. The team must be honest about the completion of tasks. If a part of the task is not finished, then it has to be scored no and a root cause determined. Make sure the root cause and reason are clear and understood by everyone on the team.